How's it going guys? It's no question in my mind that the two most common high tops right now are the Chuck Taylor 70 highs and the Nike blazers. So I knew I had to do a video comparing the two and seeing which came out ahead. So that's really what you can expect to get out of this video. I'm gonna put them head to head, talk about the cost, the durability, the fit, the overall styling of the shoes and everything like that. So with all that laid out, let's get into it. So first let's talk cost. Now I think they are extremely comparable in cost with the Chuck Taylor 70s being $95 and the Nike blazers being $100. I don't think you can give one or the other an edge. I don't think a $5 difference would make or break a decision for me personally so for that let's just call it equal so let's talk about the overall comfort and durability of both of these shoes now i'm going to start with the chuck 70 first and honestly i'm going to say that there's really not much of a break in process here at all certainly when you get them to start they are a bit stiffer and you can definitely feel that around your ankle and they kind of loosen up over time but i would not say it's really uncomfortable and the nice thing with the chuck 70 is the padding on it is just really really comfortable like inside the shoe it just feels good on the feet and right when i slid my feet into these shoes that was the biggest difference i noticed comparatively to the nike blazer the nike blazer feels like you're walking on a piece of plywood it's extremely uncomfortable and the blazer overall is honestly probably one of the worst shoes i've had to break in i'm not even kidding it took a solid three weeks and that high ankle heel area just gets absolutely torn up and blistered up so just be prepared for that you know it's going to take you probably a good two or three weeks to really break them in and then from there i would not say that they're comfortable but at the same time you know it's not the most comfortable or uncomfortable shoe that i have at this point so when it comes to comfort i honestly can't even deny that the chuck 70 is way ahead on this front now let's talk about sizing and interestingly i wear a 10 us across the board for pretty much all my sneakers especially nike and interestingly enough nike actually owns converse too so anyway i got a 10 in my blazers and they fit perfectly exactly how I would expect them to and for the chucks you definitely want to size down at least one size to a size and a half so I went with a nine here and honestly I wish I went with an eight and a half so it's a little frustrating that their sizing is honestly so so different but it's really not a big deal I'm not gonna give a plus one to the blazer just because it's more true to size it's just a little quirk that I came across and noticed now one thing's for damn sure with a high top is they are a pain in the butt to lace and unlace so with the Nike blazers I do like that the laces are just a touch thicker and then the fabric is also a lot thicker so it's not as flimsy when you're trying to tie the laces and have them lay flat and not get twisted up honestly taking the blazers off is a total pain in the butt and you really have to thoroughly unlace them pretty much all the way down to like the midpoint of where the laces are and so that's just something I've came across and it's a little bit tedious but now talking about the Chuck Taylors, it's so, so much easier to take them on and off because like I said, it is a much looser fabric. And I also think that the metal part around where the laces go in to the, each of the holes just makes it so much easier and they don't really tend to snag or hang on to the fabric nearly as much. So I would definitely give the edge to lacing and unlacing to the Chuck Taylors. The only caveat there is I do find it a much more tedious to get them to lay perfectly flat and not twist up. So that's just a little call out there. Okay, now this is definitely a subjective portion of the video, but let's talk about styling. Now there's just no questioning that the Chuck Taylors have been absolutely timeless since pretty much obviously the 70s. And I really have not gone anywhere and I don't imagine them going anywhere anytime soon either. Now the Nike Blazers were also created in the 70s, but I would say that they've really come back and had a renaissance in like the last four or five years or so. And with that, I just feel like they are a bit more trendy and gonna go back out of style and honestly i'm sure that you can definitely relate to this you see the blazers probably everywhere you go and that's honestly probably fairly true with the chucks too but they are just way more muted and fit in with so many more outfits that i think you don't really pick up on those cues nearly as much so that's a tough thing for me with the blazers is i just see them all the time and honestly my love for them over the last two years has just really dissipated now if you disagree with me then that's definitely okay it's personally just my opinion and someone might feel completely different and another area that i think the chuck taylor does have a little bit of an advantage in is just all of the different neutral colorways that you can go with so in this video i've been obviously showing off the black version of this shoe but you can also go with like a nice cream color they have white there's so many different options that are neutral and i really think that just allows you to fit it in with so many different outfits where comparatively obviously you can just go with the white blazer and that's always the base color for the blazer is white unless you go with a really different colorway which you can definitely do but at that point you're probably not going to be able to fit it in with every outfit you have to whereas a cream color or a black shoe can go with literally everything another thing when it comes to the styling with the nike blazer is obviously it being nike and a sports brand i do find that i feel like 
it is just much more suited for an athletic fit. And I think maybe that is where the advantage is. Like I mentioned, I personally love wearing this shoe to the gym, but also if I'm wearing more of an athletic fit, just hanging out or going out and about around town, I actually think that this shoe is probably better suited. But at the same time, the Chuck Taylors definitely give off still like a little bit of an athletic vibe. And so I don't think it would look bad with that type of outfit either. Let's talk about the overall durability of both of these shoes. Honestly, I have been very impressed with both of them. The Nike Blazer has held up over the years and I still think it looks pretty much brand new and I've worn it so many times, probably more than most of my sneakers. And then for the Chuck Taylors, it just being a high quality piece and the Chuck Taylor is actually nicer than the Chuck All-Star, which there's about a $35, $30 difference there. And you're paying for obviously the quality when it comes to padding in the shoe, stitching and thicker canvas. So those are all things to take into factor. Now I would say that really neither of them has the edge. I think they both held up really, really well over time. So I do think that the $100 or $95 that you're gonna spend on either of these shoes are gonna go a long way for you. Okay, now you've been waiting for it all video. Which shoe would I recommend? And I'm sure you can guess that it's gonna be the Chuck Taylor. And obviously this is just my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt, but I really do think that the Chuck Taylor just lends itself to wear with so many different outfits. It looks way more timeless and it's definitely not a trend that's gonna come and go as well. So if you're gonna be spending almost $100 on a sneaker, then I just think that this is probably the safest option for you. Now I would love to hear your thoughts on your experience with the Nike Blazers and Chuck Taylors below. I think it'd be great just to see kind of what you're thinking as well. If you did like this video, please throw it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It gets the video to more people like you, apparently. And then please subscribe if you're not already. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, with that all said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on next week's video.